Along with the fine Nexus series, Oppo released its first smartwatch, the Oppo Watch. Okay, that is not the Oppo Watch. That is the Apple Watch. If you're not very observant, it is hard to tell the Oppo Watch from the Apple Watch because they share quite a few well, not really a few, more than a few similarities. Is it the design, this is the way it looks? Okay, Oppo Watch has a quite a different kind of design, just a little bit different. Apple, no doubt, makes one of the best smartwatches. But then, there are more than quite a few things. Okay, let me not say one, two, three, four, four. Oh, let me stop. There are quite a few things about the Oppo Watch that will definitely, definitely steal your attention. Oppo offers two variants of its smartwatch. The 41 mm and the 46 mm for those with smaller hand or for those with bigger hand both are having the same 3d curved display and one gig of ram eight gigabyte of storage and both have two chipsets when you hear a watch having two gigabyte uh, two processor what is the first thing that comes to your head uh nothing for me i did not think anything so here is what happens when you're using the smartwatch in the intelligent mode it drains more battery because of the snapdragon 2500 is activated by then which drains more power and the apollo 3 on the other hand doesn't drain much power so you have long battery life when you're using the apollo 3 processor the oppo watch is packed with quite a number of sensors the gyroscope sensor the geomagnetic sensor barometric sensor it also has the optical heart rate sensor then i think the ambient light sensor all of this track your indoor walking your cycling your swimming your whatever you're doing it tracks it including your heart rate as well and uh, of course blood pressure i think I'll get back to you on that one, but I'm not really, really sure. If you buy the Oppo Restorch and you're thinking of diving inside the swimming pool, hold on, guys. Um, the 41mm is 3 ATM, that's atmospheric pressure, 3 atmospheric pressure, meaning you can dip it inside water 30 meters, which is not really, really far. So um, I won't advise you to swim with it or do water related jobs, but little rain, splash you know so um the 46 mm on the other hand has 5 atm 50 meters deep i don't know how long it will last or how long it will survive but it's 50 meters deep inside water which is also good definitely you can dive you can swim with it you can do anything with it to the main selling point of the watch the battery was all they bragged about okay on the 46 mm you get 40 hours of usage if you're using the snapdragon 2500 processor but if you're using the apollo 3 processor you get a massive mind-blowing 21 days okay um somebody have to test that or somebody has to verify that but guys for the fact that they put it there um let's say if it's not even 21 days you could survive to say 15 to 18 days which is amazing yes like i wouldn't have to worry about charging my research for 14 15 days that's really really something and on the 41 mm you get 14 hours of normal usage sorry 14 days if you're using the apollo 3 which is a long life battery mode and if you're using the snapdragon 2500 you have 20 hours which is yes yeah it's nice considering the fact that it has 300 million power battery why the 46 mm has 430 million power battery i've not verified this yet but if you have please drop a comment in my comment section below if you confirm that the research lasts for 21 days or up to 20 hours or up to 40 hours drop me a comment in the comment section you can also use the oppo watch as a standalone device it supports 4g via eSIM. it has bluetooth it has wi-fi it has built-in gps and also it has nfc okay a wristwatch has only two sides on one side we have two buttons which is the power button and the back button on the other side you got two speakers Oppo decided not to go with Google's uh, wearable OS like every other manufacturer does. Instead, they created their own software, an Android-based software called the Color Watch OS. The chassis of the 41mm variant of the Oppo smartwatch is made of aluminum and it comes in three amazing colors, which is the rose gold, the elegant black and the fog silver, all pricing at um, $216, which if you're buying in Nigeria it should be around 70,000 Naira to 75, yeah, 70 to 75,000 Naira. And the 46 mm of the oppo smartwatch which is where things get a little bit interesting the 46 mm comes in two different variants aluminium and stainless steel the aluminium is priced at 288 dollars comes in black and rose gold colors only 
The stainless steel variant of the 46mm has ceramic bottom, Italian leather and sapphire glass covering the whole display which makes it stronger and all of this pricing at $360. Oppo has been copying Apple for quite a while and yes, this research looks like the Apple Watch but we will all agree that Oppo has been doing a very good job at not just making the Apple research or making Apple per se but they've been putting out really good quality products like nice quality product like with the softwares that build the quality of the materials they use in making their phones they've been really really been improving compared to when I first heard the name Oppo okay you have these three amazing variant of smartwatch in front of you you have the 41 mm which is aluminium 46 also aluminium and another 46 that is a stainless steel which would you go for drop a comment in the comment section below will you buy the Oppo watch yes no definitely maybe maybe not Whatever the case may be, is it too expensive? Do you like it? Do you not like it? Drop me a comment in the comment section below. If you like this kind of content, smash that like button. And if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe. Click that notification bell so you get notified when I post new amazing content. Alright guys, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.